Hi, I'm Dave Cross. I'd like to spend just a couple of moments giving you an example of what I mean by the term smart flow as opposed to workflow. And it really comes down to stop working so hard, make your life easier, taking advantage of some of the smart methods we have in Photoshop. So this example I'm going to show you, I want to print a whole series of images that are going to be on the same sheet of paper. I want the same effect. I want them sharpened the same way. And while I could record an action to do that, I find it's often a lot easier just to create what amounts to a template in Photoshop. Now, mind you, they're not called that. There's no place in Photoshop that says create template, but I'll show you how you can do it using a simple Photoshop document. So in this example, I've created a layout where I just have an example of one of my photographs. I've got some text on the bottom, a nice big border here. And I want to still continue to do a couple of things to this. For example, I want to add a little bit of a stroke. Let's go inside, maybe two pixels. That looks okay. Now I also want to sharpen this for print. I should mention that the photograph you're seeing in this example started out as a camera raw smart object. So it has the ability for me to, first of all, go back and forth and edit in camera raw, but also by nature, that means any filter I applied is also smart. That means it can be edited very easily. So I'm just going to use a smart sharpen here. And I'll use some numbers that I know have worked well on my printer and I click OK. So now I have this image ready to go and I would print this, but I would also save it. Now, as I mentioned, you can't, technically there's no term that says save as template by but by nature, when you save it as a PSD, it's like a template because this one camera raw smart object can be replaced with another one. As long as the image you're replacing with is the same size and resolution as this one. And this one happens to be, so I've already printed this. Let's pretend. And now I want to go to the next one. All I have to do is right click and choose replace contents. And often the hardest part is actually finding the image that you want to use. I'm going to use this one. Now this is a camera raw file. So when I hit place, it's first going to open in camera raw so I can make any adjustments should I need to. In this case, I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to come in to here and you'll see it's automatically replaced the image. It already has a stroke on it and it has the smart filter applied. So now this one is also ready to print. And again, the only trick to this, if it's even called that, is just to save this as a PSD file. And that means any time you need to make a print just like this one, you simply replace contents, print. Because you don't have to worry about is the filter correct? And you know everything is right because you're only changing the photograph. And that's just one simple example of what I mean by working smart. Instead of building something every time, instead of having to record a lengthy action that, that you hope works, you know this is going to work because if it works for one photograph, it'll work for the next one. And as I said, that's just one example of the kind of thing that's available if you start thinking about working smart. I'm Dave Cross. Hope to see you at Photoshop World, and thanks for watching.